Welcome, everybody. Thank, uh, thank you for your attention. And as as Bartek said, I am very experienced, so you you should have very <laughs> very high high expectations of this presentation. Uh, not not really. We'll uh, we'll focus on mainly on my experience uh, de developing backend ap applications using Phoenix and mainly Ecto, and uh, par and particularly using this. Uh, this ECTO, ECTO framework to uh, to unleash Post, uh, PostgreSQL and its functions in and in all, all of its glory. Okay, so for for a couple of years, I've been developing uh, race application, Django applications, and what we uh, what I saw there uh, were our 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 RMs, which were using basic, basically active record uh, uh, active. Uh, Active record data mapping, uh, mapping structures, which was fine for for a lot of, uh, in a lot of cases, making new new records, create, create, uh, creating tables, create, uh, creating new records, updating them. Okay, it's all all very easy. But once we go uh, go into hard, hard stuff, it all becomes uh, becomes ve uh, very difficult to uh, to actually. Uh, pro, uh, provide bus a business value, uh, value to the customer. For for example, we need to ag aggregate uh, aggregate data across uh, many tables, uh, create models that are not not particularly not mapped uh, in uh, to one uh, one table, and or the, uh, or find uh, statistics on ma uh, across man many records, and th they of course. Our uh, standard R RMs are fine, are fine, but they are, uh, but they also have uh, many downsides. But Ecto is different. Uh, fun funny thing, when when I was trying to find what actually is Ecto, Ecto, what what does it provide, what uh, what it actually does, it isn't uh, defined as some. S Object, object relation uh, relation map, mapper resource mapper, but it's a toolkit for that I mean, my mapping and language integrated query. Uh, what, what does what does it mean? It it means that it is uh, it pro, uh, it provides us with with tools to uh, fetch to fetch data to uh, uh, to uh, to map it to. Uh, to comb it into uh, into something that is ac actually usable without uh, without much uh, uh, without being too fussy about underlying uh, data structure. So when developing these, these applications, Ecto proved to be very very simple. As in, uh, I can get uh, I can take any single element in the in the, uh, in Ecto toolkit and use it without understanding the whole structure. I can get, uh, I can use chain set just uh, just to message the data into uh, into particular uh, sh shape, or I can use uh, just just three point query to uh, to make uh, to make simp uh, simple simple SQL queries into database without using an, any other stuff. It it also what I also found it uh, it uh, that it is very flexible. In changing needs, as you can, maybe uh, p uh, those of you who have developed backend application probably know uh, know this story. When your customer customer com uh, comes to your company and he wants something very very simple, there is there is something that that can be uh, ultimately translated into block stru block structure. There are users; they have some. They have some privileges. They can uh, they can create posts. They can comment and and may, maybe even they can they can vote. And it is so easy that it doesn't need uh, much attention. We, we can beat it with literally literally anything. But it becomes harder. Whoa, well, low battery. Uh, uh, it becomes more difficult with with time. Uh, cu customer want. Uh, wants to build uh, a lot, a lot of new features that are not necessarily su uh, pr uh, suitable for existing uh, data model. And what what we have are 
uh, are table uh, are tables and column and data structures that are not uh, that do, uh, do not co uh, conform to the new new requirements and the uh, and we end with time as we are try trying to mass massage it, uh, massage our cl our classes our uh, our records into new into new shapes it becomes more difficult more uh, more com more cumbersome to uh, uh, to, uh, to maintain, maintain. Uh, so Ecto can help help us with that, just uh, simply uh, by um, uh, sim simply by allowing us to uh, to focus uh, not on our underlying da data structure, uh, essentially like t tables and columns. Uh, but to but to define our own data structures and structures that use use data that that has been been it instead instead of being driven by uh, by our schemas we are using them to our for our purposes okay so uh, over developing this uh, these applications we uh, uh, we came up with a couple of general tips that help us work with uh, with Ecto, and this, th these are the most general ones, which are keep schema sm small and focused. What what we have? Uh, what, what does uh, what does it mean? It means that instead instead of having large large models with uh, such like like this, uh, we have. We have some uh, standard user with, which def defines all uh, all fields that are in the uh, database. Or, or the columns are, are there. We have access. We have access to every every single uh, da data that, uh, uh, data from uh, from the row, and and it it all is available uh, ac accessible only through. Uh, Mm, gen generally ac accessible me methods such as here all which uh, which takes all which loads ev every si every single col uh, column from all, all the rows and we are also uh, use uh, and user becomes uh, this uh, uber uh, uber model that we use in every single context that may not necessarily uh, be uh, be suitable. For example, well, let's see how what 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 we can do uh, to make it a, a little bit better, a little bit more uh, custom, uh, customizable. Okay, so in, instead of having one single file with with user model, we have a uh, have a couple of uh, smaller mo modules which define uh, user uh, which use user. Uh, user table, but they are all used in different contexts. So, for creating uh, creating accounts, we need just email and password in plain text, of, of course, and to start in database. There is no no reason to uh, to borrow it with uh, some first name of uh, other sens sensitive data, and because uh, and accordingly, you can also use uh, trend, uh, trend sets which affect only this uh, this particular uh, particular model and uh, are used in only this one context so we don't uh, we don't uh, uh, we don't we don't use uh, general generalized trend, uh, trend set uh, function to update an, any any field but only those that Given given user in given context can uh, can update or, or change. In this case, email and and password. But in other contexts, let's say it uh, what we we are what we are seeing are posts of, of the user that he has cr created, and we want to just display uh, a couple of infor uh, information ab about him. So what, we don't need email. We need, we don't need password. What uh, all we need is display name about the and avatar URL and and fields uh, which also can be uh, which uh, also uh, lowers the amount of data that we need to 
uh, fetch from uh, from uh, from the bucket. Mm. So what uh, what is what is also important is that this context that I I mentioned, which are, which could be for for example, uh, creating icons, new new sessions, uh, cre creating a new posts, or maybe just managing users. Uh, should uh, should be small, small and focused. And why? But be, uh, because small uh, small amount of information better fix, uh, fits into our heads. And also because we can uh, name name them differently. We can create uh, data in our heads. We can create data models which uh, better translate to uh, to business specific, uh, business specification to uh, domain domain language user. Uh, this is a very, very common problem that uh, you, we have user user model which does basically ev everything, but user doesn't if, uh, really makes uh, make sense in the context of uh, let let's say uh, account uh, account management. It does it it is something uh, much smaller and much much more focused. We we are not necessarily interested in user but we are in, interested in him as commenter as blog poster as uh, as as manager and this this allows us also to use uh, use language that better trans translates into business into bus uh, business domain okay so things that we can use uh, Okay, so uh, so this, these were just ge uh, general tips that I found use, uh, use, useful do, uh, during back backend development, and these are some specific things that you, you can use in your pro your projects. Uh, so not all fields that are defined in schemas uh, has to translate di directly into uh, into cons in the in database. Some of them can also be. Uh, marked as vi uh, vir virtual, which means that they are, uh, they are skipped by, uh, by Ecto when, whenever it loads uh, it loads data or preserve, preserves it into database. And this allows us to create uh, structs which, which are bet better suited to uh, part particular needs. So for, for example, let's say that we, uh, we we want to just retrieve users that comment created more than five comments, and we call them super uh, super commenters. And we can we can use st standard met methods provided by Ecto Schema, which, which are relish, which is like creating relations with comments in has many relation, and we can uh, check the status for every, every single user, fetch data, count count comments. Uh, and and so on, but it is not not very not very nice. Doesn't look very very well, and it also is prone to uh, n, n plus one errors, which means that when we, when we load uh, many users, we'll issue, issue this query many times over. How can we uh, how can we do it better? Using vir virtual fields instead of asking uh, every time uh, using some function. About uh, give, uh, given commenter status, is it is he super or, or not? We can create virtual virtual field that we pop, uh, populate when loading data, and because we are in this context of uh, of commenting and not, for example, admi uh, administration or the, or displaying uh, or displaying posts, uh, it uh, we can. Uh, it, it uh, feels uh, it makes more sense to uh, to have these fields as, as opposed to having it uh, on this large user uh, user model, and we can populate this field instead of using for every every user uh, separately. We can we can do it at the moment of uh, lo loading them from the data database, and in in this example, super. Uh, we can find all uh, all commenters, which uh, which created more more um, more than five comments just using the database. Uh, 
uh, just using database and use it as a subquery in general in general query that returns users. And uh, by by using select merge, we can populate uh, this virtual field uh, with uh, with data from a subquery which is not related to any any particular uh, column. This this way, uh, end uh, end user of our code, which which can be developer, which uh, who can be you one year one year from now or your your colleagues, uh, do not do not really care uh, how how this data uh, data is created and it is it is uh, whether this is stored in the underlying column, whether it is. Uh, it is co uh, collected over, over uh, multiple col uh, multiple tables, or maybe using new a new gen uh, generated columns uh, functionality in uh, in Postgres. All, all and use all your colleagues uh, care about is that there is field on this thread which is with, uh, which re returns data, which makes it much easier to develop. Uh, to use this data, these structs in the front-end context. Uh, okay, so what, what is about unleashing uh, Postgres? Uh, it, it means that uh, creating, ex extending Ecto, uh, Ecto query APIs is much easier than in other other frameworks. For, for example, in Act Active Record in, Jan in Django, when we have, we were, uh, Many times we have to use uh, hand, handwritten qu uh, queries to get exactly what what we need, and Ecto, Ecto provides a couple of uh, fun functions and operation which, uh, but by default that we we can uh, use from from the get go, but we, we can do more. We are not dependent dependent on framework dev developers to keep up to date up up to date with uh, the database. Uh, database de development we don't need them to uh, uh, to, to create ev uh, new functions for every single uh, ev every single ver version of the database and we can do it very easily using uh, macros uh, so in the, uh, in the recent in the recent ver version of uh, ecto we, we finally got a JSON extract path, which enables in, enable us to work with J, uh, JSON data, which enables us, us to uh, fetch fetch data from uh, deeply nested uh, JSON JSON B fields and JSON JSON too. Uh, but it has some limitations. It uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't allow us to well, it doesn't use indexes that we may create on the JSON uh, B fields. Which is less less than optimal. So, wh why not create our own accessor, which use uh, uh, which uses functions that can uh, can be optimized by uh, by Postgres, and we can use it. Uh, uh, we can do it using uh, macros. In in this case, we we create we create in key uh, macro which tra translates into uh, into oper into operator uh, into fetching operator that we we can use in uh, in our queries. So uh, uh, so at the, at the bottom we can see that we can use in key just like like it was some of uh, any other any other actor provided function uh, just as as if it was uh, actor query part of actor query. A API, but we can do even better because uh, because cer uh, certain op operators provided by e Elixir uh, can be over over written, and we can use use them not as functions, but uh, not as functions, but as uh, op operators which uh, can, uh, which have left uh, and right right side. So instead of so we can make this operation if even nicer looking. Uh, and this symbol, which is till till the end to to um, more, uh, modern uh, science, can be trans uh, translated into this uh, nice 
nice looking uh, API. Uh, and we have used it exactly uh, used exactly it in one one of our projects when uh, when the content has to be had to be uh, translated in multiple languages, and we decided to store uh, store this and uh, store it on on the backend using uh, JSON B uh, B column and keys with B languages and values values tra uh, translations. But and it was a great idea and, uh, until cust customer one uh, decided decided to implement uh, to use some uh, to. Uh, decided that uh, users need ser uh, searching uh, fu functionality across all, all those languages and how how could we do it uh, in op in optimal way using using in indexes uh, and uh, considering that these texts that in, in columns could be ver uh, very big so uh, so we uh, developed this uh, devil uh, created this little, little macro we, which uses uh, built into built in uh, into Postgres uh, fu uh, fun functionalities, which uh, can uh, which are optimized for searching in large uh, large text, and they are even optimized to for specific languages. So uh, whether it, it was English, French, German, and so on. Uh, we would have uh, uh, queries uh, queries that are optimized uh, optimized for uh, an, any kind of uh, mm -hmm. any kind of text. And it, so we could use it like like this without uh, with uh, in, in op in optimized way without without having having to uh, uh, without without having to wor uh, worry about under underlying Im implementation. Okay, so another in, uh, fun uh, fun functionality that we uh, that we have uh, discovered that worked uh, really well for our applications were uh, was load, uh, preloading was aggregating data in preloads. So uh, those of you who have used Ecto know, uh, know very well that we can define define has, has many associ association uh, on on schemas, and we can plot them, which, which means that instead of issu issuing uh, how for uh, in this this case for every command issuing uh, mm, qu uh, qu uh, querying the database for every every commenter. We can just issue two, uh, two queries to uh, to fetch comment commenters and comments, and uh, underlying data structures are are loaded and in op optimized manner. Okay, this this is pretty sta uh, standard stuff. Uh, but what uh, what we also can do is to uh, use pre uh, preloads to uh, to load uh, uh, for formatted data. So instead of uh, pass, passing just a keyword into uh, preload, uh, uh, pre we can uh, we can provide a function, a function which will uh, issue also issue uh, issue query to, to the to the uh, database. So uh, what what Ecto what Ecto will do? It will load uh, the par parent data. Fetch, uh, fetch uh, foreign keys, uh, pre fetch primary keys of, for this query, and pass them to this function. And what what we should what we should do is to use those primary keys to uh, find date uh, to return uh, data that that we need. So in so in this case, uh, in in, ca in case in case comments are very long. They, and we don't need we don't need the whole content. We just need the the preview. We can pre we've, we can uh, instead of load, loading the, them all, we uh, we can use uh, so, uh, something else, which is which is preloading with function. In this case, uh, short com uh, comment uh, prod. This will uh, this will fetch. Uh, 
uh, and this query will only uh, will fetch all, all the comments uh, along with uh, user ID in this and uh, and shorten their description using uh, using uh, Post, uh, Postgres internal functions. This this way we don't have to transfer over uh, over the network the uh, uh, the whole content of it, but only this uh, this particular fragment that uh, that interests us. Okay, so this this was a very short pre presentation because. It, uh, uh, because it it is just uh, just a, just a taste of what uh, Ecto, Ecto can do when we think outside the box, outside our uh, uh, outside the, the minds that that were formed by ac using uh, active uh, active records. And instead instead of def uh, defining all, all those those models, all those uh, all those classes that uh, f uh, fetch every every pos possible uh, data from from the backend, which are Depend, dependent or uh, on those on those schemas, and the, and the, uh, and make uh, and make it uh, f very very rigid. It it force, uh, forces us to always keep in mind what is un underneath it, what what is in database, what is what is in tables. We can think outside the box. We can we can think. Okay, there is this uh, data. Uh, and there's the, this data we can we can we can use it, but the business business do, uh, domain that that we have may not uh, ne necessarily trans translate in uh, uh, tra uh, translate one to one, and it will be easier to, for us to name it name it uh, uh, give it uh, give it other name, fetch just a sub a subset of of this data, or uh, or fetch uh, or fetch data. Uh, Ag aggregated da uh, data, and this uh, this allows us to create applications which are uh, much much easier uh, to develop, much easier to manage, uh, and to and to think about, and create and of course create uh, create them uh, fa uh, faster and and making uh, fewer mistakes. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks for your time. <laughs>